Nibuze Imbozo. We'll have to stop the presentation exactly at two o'clock so that for the next 30 minutes will be engagement. You'll be engaging with me in the next 30 minutes from two up to half past two. Let us then begin with a, a, a recap of Daniel's chapter seven. I'm, I'm happy to see I'm talking to people who have read the book. When we begin, let me begin by uh, apologizing. That is unprofessional. Uh, I would rather refer to you as uh, numbers or I will see another way. We profoundly uh, apologize to those we, we gave their names without their consents on our videos on YouTube. And let me also say, Uguti Sifundile, and Sifundega Kulugu Daniel 7, as a person, I grew exponentially. And um, uh, the ministry as, uh, as such, I'm heading Nayo Iteya Kula Yadlon Lubala. Would like to thank Labo Bazalwani Abate Babani Sabelo Eptenini Si Si Kule Si Kulisane Ngalonle. It's a big thank you to you. And we started off by explaining our position as a, a ministry. And Sizoi affirm a little position here to Esaikala last week. We'll affirm it even today uh, in a very short, a short space of time. Sasa Nombuzo, Sasa Ubuziwe, Daniel chapter 7. Uh, uh, one uh, member asked us, Guti, where, where, what about the third member? And I believe Kuloku SSIGU Discasile, Chapter 7, we did answer that question to the fullest. So, as of today and going forward, we will set that question aside will not entertain it anymore because we have answered it in full. And kube no mimbozo enzo kala ngao obuzwe last week. It was a genuine question. Ngako melesi upendulile. Umbozo obuti usuge lagu Daniel Chapter 7, verse 12, Bosu Tige, the Kumbutia Ante Lapo, verse 12, chapter 7, 
even if you don't read it, you don't lose anything. It's not part of the prophecy. Then how will I know what this part of the Bible, this verse in particular, is part of prophecy or it is not part of prophecy? And we did answer it in, in part or partially last time. We will answer it in full this time and set it aside. I will begin with it. But before I begin with that, and let me go straight on to our mission and uh, we are going to reiterate it and restate it again. That is our position and we're standing firm on it. One, our mission is sharing of God's word and not canvassing members. That's our mission as a ministry, Revere God Ministries. Now, what's the difference? Remember, remember, I am doing this not as a church, but as a ministry, rendering a service to the church. So as a son of pagati, we are the ministry, which is rendering a, a service to the church. I said, I'm not conversing for any membership. We're just looking at the word of God as it is. There are other ministries that are dealing with uh, dogmas and uh, who are dealing with doctrines as well. We are not into that part. What's the difference between a dogma and a doctrine? Which I said we will if, if avoid here and not confront with. Last time, we looked at a dogma from uh, the Wikipedia Encyclopedia, which is a free encyclopedia online. Yati, a dogma is a truth revealed by God, which uh, the magisterium of the church declares as binding. Put it in short, a dogma is a truth revealed by God, uh, which the church declares as binding. I took you to a catechism, a Roman Catholic catechism. Why that catechism? In short, all the catechisms, they follow this pattern of the Catholic faith. Any catechism is tailored after this one. You might say we do not have a catechism. We have a manual. When you look at it, its pattern, it is tailored after this one. So when we, when we refer to this one, we're referring to every, every other one. It doesn't matter what denomination you are in. So it says the church's magisterium asserts that it exercises the authority it holds from Christ to the fullest extent when it defines dogmas. That is when it uh, proposes in a, a form of obligating Catholics, you can take Catholics away and put your church in, to an irrevocable adherence of faith, of truth, contained in the divine revelation, or also when it proposes in a definitive way the truths having a necessary connection with these. That's what that catechism is saying. You can see, when you look at your own church catechism, you'll see that there are so so much similarities between the two. They, 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 they are aligned in that way. We, we went back to the encyclopedia and a shorter version, yeah, you eat a, a dogma is simply any belief held unquestioningly and with undefended certainty. That's a dogma. We'll not get into those. Now, a doctrine. 
I like the definition from the Britannica Encyclopedia, which simply defines a, a, Britann in a, a doctrine as, it says doctrines, uh, they seek to provide religion with intellectual systems. Now, my doctrines, that's when we, be, we begin to see, we know, but the, the verse, though it says, but uh, when you look at this one, this way, and this way, then we, we believe, that you, you see, that's where you begin to analyze, and uh, that's, that's a doctrine. And what is it, it is, is it used for? It is used for guidance in the process of instruction, discipline, propaganda, and controversy. That's a, a, a doctrine, and we're saying, as a ministry, we're not interested in those. We're only interested in the Bible, and the Bible only. Our, our recap of chapter 7 will be very brief, because we... Chapter, chapter 7, verse 12, that's where we are going to sit, Kakulu. We are going to recap it as we get into chapter 8, because chapter 8 and chapter 7, uh, you'll see when, when, once we get in there. All right. Verse 12, from the King James Version, I'm going to read it, it as concerning the rest of the beasts, they had their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season and a time. This verse is not part of prophecy, but a commentary from the scribe. Then one member, Ibe said, How am I going to know that this is part of prophecy? This is not part of prophecy. We tried to answer that one partially, as I said, and we are going to add on to that one today. What we said, we said, one, there are Bible versions which put these in ita italics. Failing which other Bible versions, they put these in brackets. Once you see something in the Bible that is put on brackets, it simply means that is not part of the original manuscript. You can do that by opening at the beginning of your Bible. They do state to their preface. They do state Uguchi, how to use this Bible. When you see this, what does it mean? If they do not have that, we have to add today, if there are no brackets, there are no italics, no explanation, then you are most likely to believe that that is part of the, of the verse and go on. Not so quickly. We have another weapon that we have to use there. Nakube Masasikabisa. Use what is called a discernment. Itolagala go first Corinthians chapter twelve verse ten. Discernment. In English, at one time we did speak about spiritual gifts and we said each and every church member needs to know his gift of the spirit. We are saying it is sentiment. Are we told no we school way? Are we nature as the sentiment? Organ in a certificate is a sentiment. It's a free gift of the Holy Spirit. You pay nothing for it. John 14, verse 26, Loyo, Umagelo, verse, I said this one. Is a discernment is a gift of the Spirit. You don't pay anything. John 14, verse 26. Now, let me give you an example of 
descent. This is where we are now. I guess here, Daniel 7, verse 3. Daniel 7, verse 3. Go to verse 3. Four great beasts are coming up out of the sea, diverse one from another. I'm reading from the NYLT, that is, YLT, I mean, that is the Young Literal uh, Translation. YLT. And four great beasts are coming up from the sea, diverse one from another. Samson. Now, more we la le verse again from this YLT. We use what it is. There are two thoughts of what I told Thought number one, a school of thought number one, it is these four beasts, this zero a zine, the kamuge oluande kanyegan, watching a beze tugi le silo kwesin. Nipin the verse, and four great beasts are coming up from the sea, diverse one from another. Iswagala iti. Kukamge zilo e zine, zikamga oluang, ze shugile e sine kwesi. That is one school of thought. Another school of thought is no. Kukamge izilo e zine oluange. Isilo nga sine emva wesine se shugile kweso kwesi. Not to put the Kamge Zonke Ganye Ganye Oluan. Yebos Kamge Oluan the Zizi Nekwat, but one beast came after the other from the same sea. The other, the first school of thought is ten. Four beasts, four of them came out of the sea at the same time. One Different from the another, the other. That's why. Now, you don't need to be go to go to school to see what something is not right here. Kumelo guti kube kona umkondo otile ozo hamisana naola. Imupi, we are not sure. You have to make that call. Let's analyze now the first thought. This a pendulum bozo oti oti nzogwa zinga animi. So until number three, lapo uti tachage seven zisa now itulus all niggas when more in when itulus lani the discernment. Saying we example now yet discernment. I said you don't need to go to school for this. Are we doing in an encyclopedia? Nama, nama, you don't need anything. Just look at the, at the verse. It tells you, no, something is not right here. Now, looking at the first school of thought, at a four great beasts appeared from the sea at the same time, one different from the anal, right? Itge e analysis yalapo. Izizwe nationalities. Njenga ani, njenga ma miti na ma peresi, njenga ma Greeks, njenga ma Rome, ma Romans, and many others. They were there. I papilo. I bi kona, i kona ibusa. Ibusa. Kukona nama miti, kukona nama peresi at the same time, kukona nama Greek at the same time, kukona nama Roma, nama Romans at the same time. Now, this is this way. They competed imperialistically. Or should they, they wanted to extend their dominions. Kwasa kuya ngutike, isipe shodayo at that time. 
start to dominate us all to our battle as all. But they were all there at the same time. Uma is a kamge pela, all one de kanyega. That means they were there all, all at the same time. Now I'm saying you should see Uma une discernment. What about now? Send us at Konongam San Nepai Pelila, Gendel Angli Fundengai. A better would know. Again, check it another version. Our manuti lena menacing hamba nayo, nakung hamba na lena upele legged mina. No, we don't do that. Listen to other views and make a, a valid judgment between these other groups. Now, I guess he begged the lenigal lena. A number one. Yes, oh, no, number two. Or two, number two. No, who vele les zilo as in the old one. What does velanga ganyagan? Who vele silos of al? What vele silos a spiel in vaguas? What vele silos a statue in vaguas? What vele se sin in vaguas? I would zong a vele ganyagan. All right? Let's analyze it now. It is more beggar. Yes. Uvele umbuso, unkulu unkulu ube, ubeke umbuso ka nebukat nezari. Wa unigeza iku unya lotuma ubuse, ubuse zonke zinye izizu. Ah. Unigezu iku unya ngubani, unkulu unkulu, pezu waleze zinye izizwe. All right? Ma unkulu mange zizwe, esi, 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 esi zuluini. Now, we are not talking about nationalities now. We are talking about a, a dominion, a, a kingdom, not, not just a, domi, a, a kingdom as such. What happens here, Uguti? This is an empire. His ofinyelela lapa ewa shuga nisei ni paga tuko kwe empire ne kingdom. Nzo wa shuga nisa, i empire gainani ne kingdom. Nzo i kakisa gache mwase mfie kone, but there is an empire and there are kingdoms. Le empire, yone figi domine ite pezu wa lama kingdoms. Ako. Ngoba ibego nkulu nkulu to dominate over them. There is only one empire at a time. And Agwaz Gutube Kona more than one empires at the same time. That's one thought. We thought number two. Maso Pexi Sagatleg, what in now the empire, it might see Kona, a base isama, Ugwandi sa umbusowayo, that is still imperialism. Yakabanga, says Wagala. That is still in the, the element of imperialism as it extends its kingdom or its empire. It goes about conquering these other nationalities. Then it makes in its empire. And then say, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, all right, who corner is is Sagazul, says so shall be said, this is a gum tag. This is one Uzulu Saselubani, um tag, a base a same fagana pants guac, who say in um tag woman. That is an empire. Asuge la puzulu, eo shasela umchong. Umchong use yin manj. Use nguzulu, obuse mfake nga pansi, wake. Angiti, that is an empire. Kanti, umchong wa ese yeto, nozulu ese yeto, be yin, be yi kingdom. Use swaga. All right. I'm going to let. Now, Moya la Panaku Daniel 2, okay, verse 21. 
Utu Daniel 2 verse 21. Unkunu kuru ye no bega ama kose. Apenda wazi jani? Awa source. Asiege ku verse 39. Wake u Daniel 2. After you, another kingdom will arise. Emva wako. Omu nyumbuso. Kuonjani? Yo velo mu nyumbuso. Emva wako. Agati at, at the same time together with you. Lendo ishuwa yini, ili atote okala. And leto tokala ihamsana. Put another kingdom will arise in fear to yours. Next, a third. Kubege ganjani. We are born to put it. zivele zonge le zizwe. Lembuso ivele ganye gani. As it is purported by that verse from the uh, YLT as I read it to you. So, Uzo tola guguti mausu sebenzi sa leti sendment. U chapter, u second, u second uh, school of thought en kulumenga eti kufele le mibuso, kufele umbuso, enve nugo umbuso, enve nugo umbuso. Not ganyi ganyi. You told Iham sana no Daniel 7 is prophet o sak. Iham sana put no Daniel 2 is prophet o sak. Nga koge. Ama prophecies awa saklesh. Aisa asho loko gwe shugile. Lena isho loko ogwe shugile. All right. Uh, I guess buyele kule thought ete. No. U Daniel 7 verse 12 is part of the verse. It's part of the prophecy. I guess he analyze it that way now. And see uguti usbega gufilo. Number one, once you say U Daniel 12 verse, U Daniel 7 verse 12 is part of the Bible, of, of the prophecy. You are saying, U Daniel, Aksie Nagatlegat, Wamsana Lababati U Daniel, Aksie Nompali, Wang and Bella, while in what that time. Angel to let up. Number two, Uzobe, so to when U Daniel 2 verses 39 to 44, Agashai ko nangoba ute mvenu wa lengo kwa lombuso kwa vela lombuso mvenu wa vela lombuso kandwa na utini yonke iba kona ganye ganye now let's test that thought one more time seso sebenze sa umlando now history umlando uti mwaka Daniel 5 verse 30 Upel Shezar on Angale Ranch. Uzo Kumbutu once eh, politics, Noma Ama empires, Noma ma kingdoms. Afanana ne, 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 ne game of chess. Which chess once a king yaba captured, a peli the game. Noma Abe Usamu Vega. Only two moves. Once the king is captured, it's the end of the game. Again, so na la pake abanda ba protect wayo are the kings. She says one. So once the king is killed, that kingdom is no more. So abanda ba lo mbuso se benge na ngapansu ba lo mbuso over also also ngobi kosiya. Says one. Now, U Daniel 5 verse 30, U Stelu Guti, U Pelshazar, U Pelshazar, yes, O Wai Busa Nga Lisu Skati, Wa Bula Wa, Nga Lisu Skati, Ama Midi, Etasela, Ipapilu. That same night, U Pelshazar was killed. Now, Wa Sala So Omega Njanige, Umbuso Wase Papilu, Ogwe Skasha Nyan, Inga Sekin Kosiya. I want it to segment let come lay hamba con. I guess kubege. He is stepping this chair luguti. Umbuso ma pesia. Let's cut with a selwa. Umbuso was a Greek. Was so very soon take and take. I see ye gege log. See a lapanetinini. O I busang a discati ama Greek. Esta sela and a discati. Quacum utarius west. 
okuthe uma sehlasela amakristo kubona udayi no muka nabo kumbula kwase kumbuso omkhulu umbuso wama greek at that time umbuso ma at that time so ma ihlasela ama greek udarius lona enomfo wabo bathe esingisini a cousin ukumbule ukuthi mabethi a cousin they don't mean a cousin like mina ngumzu ke basho umfo wabo umfo wabo abisukwa wambulala udarius three ase kubona lokha ama greek ukuthi oh usumbulele I say same bam, but how when I see the color, see the mula, see the see the torture is shakar. But must be that you come torture is shak. But be be am mula la na. Yet as I he said, so that he does not rise up against them again. La lela ganja nige i verse eighty. Ukubegi lumbu so wabako na kandi bunga senangos. You only need a discernment lab who won't know. Absicon, I can't be that lemma bunch. Final point on this point, and so pin we'll go. Final point, it is. Masas we'll go Kiebe's prophet. I who call Kiebe's prophet to as who told the obison is season. How much is a season in terms of prophecy? How many years is, is a season? How much is a period of time, August Prophet? Aiku. So, when I said, you don't lose anything, ma ushie u verse 12 ngapan, I was true. You don't lose anything. Go back. U introduce it into, as in the Prophet way. So, you can leave it out without any problem, ukubege, ukubege, yes. Now, that is the finality on umbuzo, besi umbuzo, last week, and se julilege guo na manje, and we have set it aside. Ben teu Daniel chapter 8, kagate, u hamsana no Daniel chapter 7. Umeshu goga paatika Daniel 8, no chapter, no, no Daniel 7, yin, go to 1. U Daniel 8 is not a dream, but is a vision. Yes, it's Zulun Zotin. A dream and a vision. Yi pupo u Daniel 7. Umbono u Daniel 8. That makes the sea of a difference, not, not a lake of a difference, a sea, an ocean of the difference. Meshugwa uba mkulu kaku, umbuzo wakuzo wese uchige, yii nika ndu meshugwa paratu kwe pupo nombo, ulula kaku, mzo kaza kafushani. I pupo, kumele maulale, ukuzo pupo. Kandu umbono, Aguti ingu tu zula legu utolumbon. I vision. I pupo lingaba na yo i vision. Koti vision na yuwa zuba na i pupo. Nchini manji. Yes, wakati. I pu, e pushu nila ku unga, unga pupa ubona inte chila. Kota ukwa zuguti embonu enu wako kui vision. Ebe su pupa inte chila. It doesn't happen. So a vision can be contained in the in the dream, but a dream cannot be contained in a vision. U Daniel eight is an elaborate of of Daniel seven. You lose nothing. U Kaza Kangonyana U chapter seven. U chapter eight U Kaza U chapter seven Kanyonyan. One this are more details to chapter seven. This All right. Who can in the end it? I go to verse one, chapter eight. Uti umbali. 
uh, after the one that uh, had already appeared to me. Kanjan, he persigia appeared in Shaguena, Mopapella, Ube Nepu, was a banani, ne vision man. He appeared in Shaguena before. Queen Data Law. Now, see, I Pastor John Bradshaw, where it is written ministry. Tabolega la maga magene maizamu kaza le ministry. Uti. Uh, let me quote him verbatim here, Uti. This refers to chapter 7, but chapter 7 clearly isn't a vision, but a dream, despite the use of the word vision in chapter 7, verse 1. Mwe chapter 7, verse 1, ukulume Uti, uwone ini, upupil, was it in my vision? Remember, beste, ungaba nayo e vision in a dream. Again, but how was ubanani ne ne dream in a vision? So he learned to get in zagele lapa gu chapter eight verse one. Verse two, in my vision I saw myself uh, in the citadel of Susa in the province of Elam. I have, I had brought this map to you was born in Susa and Elam as a province. I was born in Elam so that it was born. But at the time of the writing of this prophecy, Susa was born in 12 years later. Let's cut a bona lombo. Let's susa akudumangayo. Being a gabi to lopa el nengaba. A citadel in naba. All right? Being a gabi, ye lady to lopa el nale naba. I bonao yen twelve years before. Who's bona egulenda? All right? Who say bona? Lombo. Yena, he was beside the river. Yena, benga gupi, benga semfule. Usebona lombo, in this vision, he was transported into the future. Here's what God. Usebona egulendao. Inga gabi, inga gavu, tuwa guba ile ndo ayon. Kotu ikaza, njoba izo banjalo, 12 years before. Here's what God. Now, maese lanage, usebona Nancy Ingama, a ram. All right? Verse 3 now. Ubona Ingama. Masangi Lanage, let me quickly say this one. Angusho Loku. Abashazi Abaningi be prophet. The Bible. Basuga bese betige, we are born a man, you go basso vele in arm of vela in pongo. Ilezi one vele is a Jesuwa etaba nigelin. That means now, so kazu tilo. No, no, no. God could use any other animal. All right? Don't begin to associate this with anything. It's just using this one at this time. He chooses to use this animal for now. All right? He chooses to use this doesn't be. the other corn grew 
to be longer than the other one. That happened sometime later. And as no matter what people, the Kaza Ganjalo in chapter 8, got Daniel, verse 3. Uti, I looked up, and there before me was a ram with two horns standing beside the canal, and the horns, uh, uh, and the horns were long, and the horns were long. Basically, one of the horns was longer than the other, but grew up later. Later, come over. Yes, oga. The son of Zatubelesu, a Kuluma, gets bond as Balu Latis in the now. Says, I go verse four. All right, says, I go verse four. But before we get into verse four, I'm going to look now. Linda, I go good now. constant what has a yibo be in jalo all the time? Pesukuba kona labes teba kukukukuga, variable, all right? So, once we introduce like this variable key, ikape, it is a variable key, it sebens a gule context kuhe na. And please, 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 if variable key, it sebens a gule o context ya yo, don't extend it beyond that. You'll be confused. This as well. U verse 4, utige, usebona manje, okay, usebona se kamuga impongo. Aisho kanja leo, okay, ubona le ngama, uti, it was charging to the west, charging to the north, and charging to the Charging, what does it mean? It means the, it was expanding its kingdom. Says what? Yeah, yeah, this is a mbuso wayo. You want this, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say, 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 and ya kula ya bangkulu le ngama, wang geko siluane, makwast kong geko siluane, what are they talking about? Remember, best a beast will represent in an empire. He says what? Now, kule empire, eh, eh, ingoba, ingoba in the kingdoms. Here's what I'll end on the empire, we live in the same humbus or gazu, or humble chasella bagam tet, one eat, Ubafaga Panswa, Yaka e, the empire, one eat. Now, we take e beast, e mele e, the empire. Upo, do, Upo, do, the mele e, so far. Mele in, si te upondo ne kanda gumela in, umbu si, not umbu so. Mpinde, a horn and a head represent what? The ruler, the head of the state. All right? Kona kini kuchi kwebezo vela manje la onfuna ma kuwas we born so it is, as it was busy expanding its dominion capturing other kingdoms 
into its empire. All right? Then verse 5. Usebona se kamga in impongo. We got to win now among it. In now may be mele in God. Umbuso is ngagi. In now umbuso is ngagi. We spill one man meeting and my peris. Nobody in pondo zingagi. Zimbi. All right? Lolo new pondo. Lukulega muva. That means lo mbuso wawo 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 tina wana ngasemba as we know to kale amamiti kwa sekti na in amapiris upo ndo shume lo akula laba lute ngasekti na in kamupa sisi wene la na usepo na kamga impongo le impongo uye ikaza ku verse 5 haumfunde leyo Okay. I can give from the English version. As I was thinking about this, suddenly a goat with a prominent horn between its, his eyes. Ukamga in impongo. Enja ni limpongo. Eno pondo olu kamile prominent. Don't forget that. Inkinga ye too. We don't get the language used. Says when? Who searches this way? Amaka matile la abalu leki. Ogmele uti namai ganjani. Atri nelo makama. Wabambelele gwon. Bengega seven sika milti prominent. Just for far. Ute prominent because means, ah, we are born in, we are as in Pongo, in, in Pongo now and eat. In a Pondenga. As in Bill, as a kind of it. Who said to go to a Lempongo? In no Pondo, all Lord were all prominent. Now, I see this again, Janagel. The history is Jeluguti, who Alexander the Great. All right? There was a Philip of Macedonia who was behind him, who was helping him. All right? Who was behind Philip in that case? Is one of the horns that lays a best as on the Camille. Uguti no pondo or lot or el camille or sem or paratwa metro does not mean the zing equis in bondo than bong. I'm getting it. But this one is prominent. Now get this one, Goba, as we go to verse 8. Most people they look, they get lost there. They get lost there. Sessions okay, Kama. Says, Lippi Kama Sessions and Siwela. And what does it mean? And what is it? Is it its importance? Now, Lulu Pondo, all Lord, all Kami, Lord Paratuka men, so, all right. Abanya, they even go to the extent of uh, uh, explaining what Ame, so Lapa, they mean wisdom, the, the cunningness, the, all of those things. I'm so getting a little but lolo pondo lot wal pagatu kwa meso empongo ilona lwa lmelo bani u Alexander the Great. Ukumbule ubeseche besizo uyi se who was a warrior known and uyi se and enye enase an advisor yake A.M. Caesar. Those are these two other horns 
the background as a So this prominent horn stands for Alexander the Great. So Limpongo, it then smote the, the ram, throwing it to the ground and trampling on it. And no animal could assist the, the ram. In Nama, a common to us was wishes. Hey, I like history. Masuk Figala, you have to be a student of history. Goba, lazy prophet, the provega gangono from what? From history. Nzakumbutu Bengaten te, this cut to Alexander the Great, a chasela. Umbuso was a person. Was so weak. That woman gave us a job. There were revolts against the government already. Such that Uma is a funut lavabantu, Aba Lamatolopa, Nanama, these kingdoms, I at his as moba is fighting a pansuak. I said, now, come and help me. We are all patients here. But, uh-uh. Uh-uh. He telling you what the history, they stepped in from the back because he was not expecting them not to fight on the side of the meats and the patients. But they decided to fight with the Greeks who were invading. Yes, okay. Now, local governments were ye in the places prophet. In Ama, in Pong, I mean, in Pong, a figure shire, Lingama, a temple surpassing now, and no other animal could assist. Come to the rescue of this animal. Yes, all right. Hey, I like in the Lake Fazangayo, uh, Gabriel here. We'll be talking about Gabriel here. Lalel, umu I understand well. You are not alone, even though Daniel himself did not get it. Izuluwamele maltumelu Gabriel. Gabriel, ahambo kazalilomunda aizu, lende I understand over. He was not getting it. Says well. Misateni so far. What did I say so far? Aha, Anzwa. <laughs> I'm used to that one. Yeah. You see, we're saying verse 5 is very important in that introdu introduction now is a third king. A third what? Kingdom or empire. Hello, are we still there? Is it a third kingdom or empire? Welcome, friend. Somebody's just joined us on the net. Are we still there? All right. I was saying... And I'll be trampling on somebody's toes on this one. But I have to say it. Verse 5, Ute, the, the, the he goat, Lempongo, in a mulum shaba wonke, in a tindy part. Ibn Amula in, um shaba wonke, in a tindy part. Now, Let's catch a school among what Daniel said. I did hint on this one. Nabon would know for an is one. Abandoning be to they. I don't know how, how to explain this one. You see, who was in Africa? 
is not in the picture of the Bible. When Africa is very much in the picture, there's one. Right now, if I will say how many kingdoms will be there? Four. All right? And somebody, somewhere, is trying very, very hard. Uti, the Africa must unite. We must have one Africa. As one United States of America, we must have United States of Africa. Listen, that's a, a pipe dream. And that person who's dreaming that one will never wake up. Ms. Wegate, ye poo polel, lo old pupayo, lega fuge food, and God. We are poopa God. Upupe ham, ye yam. Why? Go ba, less carti unkulunkul eti, ubege lombos. Lombos, wo pate, wo pete nani. The Africa. And in Africa, no ma, it, it, it participate ngani in this four kingdom. So we fourth kingdom manjang it. It participates ngani in Africa with the fourth kingdom. Is it challenging the fourth kingdom? No. You are busy killing each other. Nikonai, the best thing we can do is what? Is do what? Kill. And that is in fulfillment of the prophecy. Because that kingdom is not challenged even by Africans. And we can never challenge them because who said so? God said so. All right. So my ticket, it was not touching the ground. That refers to his speed. Yeah, in this in Pong. In Nama Pig when Lempong in Nizal. I know my people. But we born in the kitchen mangayo lempongo. We born a sati I sat tint in a whoop, Nasim Chabati. Is was in Chabang Iaglem Lengam. In Ponga Iagup Lengam. That's all what it is concerned about. All right? Tina, at that time, were we attacking the, the, the ram at, the, at that time? No. We're busy killing each other. Now it is the fourth beast. A very yes, Mulala, we on the left beast. And we're busy. We look at Ramaphosa. Hey, he's not in the picture. If he's a player, he's a player. Yagu, Yagu will decide. The fourth kingdom. And Megan's a West Don't expect him to do anything different. He's going to do, he's going to throw the line. Yan, the fourth beast. So when he does that, he's fulfilling prophecy. Why do people moan? Why do you cry about Ramaphosa? Ramaphosa this, Ramaphosa that, Ramaphosa sold us, Ramaphosa. Hey, you need to wake up and read the prophecies. They have to be fulfilled. And he's doing everything to fulfill what? The prophecies. Uh, yes, I, I can see the hand here. The Watato Mabi Liga Lama verses six and seven. He came to us, the two-horned ram. I had seen standing beside the canal and charged at him in great rage. I saw him attack the ram furiously, striking the ram and shattering his two horns. Now, the second in born to Zimbili, Daliarev. Yasala go to Rem. Yasala. No, it's been thrown down. Again, that means Musa has been done what? Thrown down. So I want to learn verse 12 from Kulumangai. I was Ukamsana Nala. Boba, we are told here that the, the two pawns of the Rem were shattered. 
and the ram was thrown to the ground. So it's not standing anymore. It doesn't remain standing. And then the ram was powerless to stand. Is the ram standing? No, it's powerless to stand. And to stand against him. The he goat knocked him to the ground and trembled on him and none could help rescue the ram from his power. Right. In chapter 7, we noted the speed. Now, the tiger, the tiger in the in the speed of why I need but now, let Taiki be as well, four wings, I need. Wings, they, they denote what? Is speed, I need. And then, what happens? Say, when I'm angel, Kumbula, Sat Kulumang Epu, Vision, Nefana, Nepu, what is niggas are more detailed. Lempongo, my say, say, figure. If Kubasat has how teen to Mshaba, I need. It's such a in, is speed. So, see a Jula Lapo, verse six and seven. Benfunun these cities that did not fight on the side of their kingdom. Yasapesi. Nibo Nebuti, Maning Gangaganan, but Ninghako, Yatenegamandang, the speed is in Esmangalisa. Yazama no kukulwa. Go but there are a few cities here to it was in Uguti, you are retained. But when the majority has gone away, what should now they have to give up? And when the king had been captured and killed, that meant the kingdom is over. End of the chess game. So, yes, you Now, verse 8. Verse 8, the goat became very great. In Pong, where is it, John? Akula Yabana. But at the height of his power, his large horn was broken off. Broken off of the horn, so we shall go far, Uga. Alexander the Great, at the age of 32 years old, very, very young. Uh, yes, why say, we're on some bizangani, we're on some bizangani, a young adult. 32 years of old, he drank himself to death. And then, Ebese Itge, I'm from the verse 8, I'm going to go in the need to leave him. Bless the Lord. The goat became very great, but at the height of his power, his large horn was broken off, and in its place, four prominent horns grew up towards the four winds of the heaven. I'm going to get now. Try something. Like that. Yes. Yeah, that's what we normally say. That is not said by the best. All right? 
and I emphasize things that you need to take note of in my reading. I read again. The God became very great, but at the height of his power, his large horn was broken off, and in its place, four prominent horns grew up was the four winds of heaven. Yes. We concentrate on the four horns, all right? But you forget the adjective prominent. You forget what? Prominent. And I said, most people lose it here. You mustn't forget prominent. You see, Alexander the Great did not have only four generals. They were 36. How many generals? 36. And there was a squabble for power among the 36, but these four emerged as victorious in the swap. Yes, Wagan. Hey, you see, this is mind-blowing. How accurate the prophecy is. It for prominent. You remember when I said the horn, the large horn in the face of the he goat was the prominent. It doesn't mean there were no other, but this was a prominent one. Again, now we are told here that the large horn is now broken off and in its place there were four prominent. It doesn't mean there were no other horns. Are you getting it? Were not, it's not saying there were no other horns, there were only four. No. But these were prominent. And these four prominent were found where? One on the east, one on the west, one on the north, one on the south. All right? Now, I wish. Here is a here called Nazi Impong on it. Is it important as it is Nancy Mpongo, ne? All right? Then Pongo, if you know, Pondo, all Lord, all Camilo, Paratua, Mel, Ranget. Now, we Puga, Lulu Pondo, all Lord, all Camilo, Paratua, Mel, Ranget. As Kundin Sado Lulu Pondo, or Lord of Camille, was a Shoma as you fall. Hang it. Or Lord of Langa Sempumalang, a Jonalang, and Ningazim, Nasenaga. Says in Gagi Bon. Four. All right. Good Lord of Rados in Bondo as he came in. And the line. This in Bondo as he came in. All right. Oh Lord, oh Lord, gave birth to another horn that was little. Says in the bond, as it can be Five. Five. All right? Now, the Lord, 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 I'm glad we are getting it now. If you are born, you will Now, Daniel 
chapter 7 u verse 9 kuthe mase sokubusa lo mbuso wesine so kuvela lo luphondo onjani kwahlala judgment ezulwini why and we when we analyze if obeys linikezi we ukubosa ngethi lase lathathwa lamiswa ngenyawo ezimbili njengomuntu kwakhishwa inhliziyo yebhubesi kwafaka inhliziyo yomuntu angethi wezo ibele litsheliwe ukuthi alidle sufficient angethi lizanelins angethi ingwe now, each of you can join. I boast. Let's see, 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 No. That is why, Lombo, so we see, I call it in this ministry an illegitimate kingdom. I'll be going to Isu. I'll be going to Isu. Isu. Kumbulo kuti beste i Bible liti u Daniel two verse twenty one unkulu unkulu obega i apindeja abasu lona usbega o therefore use the katani sa nobani use use bega makosi mani study judgment hey let me end here. For today, with this in mind, so Lulu will land there in chapter Daniel. Like the trick is over for Nagnina, Nichel Examine, concentrate from verse 23 to verse 26. Concentrate to verse 23, we have verse 26. That's where it is more juicy. Let me end here. I've taken six of the minutes extra of Melamabe the same value by half past three. Uh, welcome, uh, Elizabeth. Welcome. We have to end here in session eight. Remember, I said we are. Let's end here for today. And if you have any question or comment to make, you may make it now in the. Thank you for being such an audience. And I really enjoyed today's presentation. Even put Daniel 9, I'm saying it now. So that you look at it. I will not break it down. I'll take the Holos Bolus, so they say others. All, all of it uh, the same because it's easy, it's just 2,300 days. And remember, Daniel 8, or Daniel 7, 8, and 9, and 10, and 11, they all talk about Daniel 7. So there's nothing new about it. There is no fifth kingdom, there are only four kingdoms, but the nitty gritty is how do they come into play? That's what we'll be looking at here. And you have to be a student of history. You have to be a student of history. Mudalawa, let me hand over to you and close the session. Sibuwa <laughs> Then go to the chambers, see, 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 see,
one goes in his catcher, so she ran up, his pussy and up, so she can go to the shalling and bam, she found the goats in his lap. The sick fellow up for the goats, which is the Christ, Amen.